Now we will discuss how to uh, implement countless closure with the circular link classes. So we need to implement the congruence closure with uh, with equality reasoning. That's that's very clear to us. First, we need a uniform data structure to represent the function with arbitrary parameters, uh, such that we can implement a congruence closure efficiently. And we need a quick way to find the application where to apply the congruence closure. So first look at the uniform representation of terms. Each term will have two children. Left child is the top symbol and the right child is the list of arguments. But then furthermore, for each list has two children. One is the top term in the list and the rest of the argument in the, in the list. So let's look at it. So if you have a term like this, you can say, okay, it's, it has two children, which is one is G and other one is a list. Now, if we apply again, so each of this list has a right child, which is y x, which is the last two terms, then x, and then empty list. And all of them have a left child, which is the first term of that particular list. And fx, y, and x correspondingly. And then again, fx is split into uh, f and the parameter x, which is which list already exists. Once we have this kind of representation, what we do need to do is we not only find equivalence between terms, we also compute the equivalence between list of terms. And that gives you a better way, a simpler way of computing concurrence. So for that matter, we, we maintain three other equivalence classes besides the, the main equivalence classes we compute for quality reasoning. The first thing, left equation is a set of nodes whose left children are in same class. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a set of nodes, let's say these three nodes. And if you have left children, and these all these three children belong to the same equivalence class, I will say, I will define an equivalence class which, is, which will be part of this called left equation. Okay. Similarly, we define the right equation. And then furthermore, we define the third equivalence class, both in each, uh, the children, uh, these are children which both left and right children have same equivalence classes. For example, these two nodes have, are such that, that they, uh, their uh, left child have same equivalence class and their right child also have same equivalence class. Then I'll say they are both equivalence classes. These are exactly those set of nodes where you can now apply congruence and add additional equality in your equality reasoning. Uh, the above three are equivalence relations and we implement them similar to the circular linked list as we have defined for the main equivalence classes and each each of these equivalence class uh, needs uh, three extra fields in your notes such that you can maintain these equivalence classes. So let's try to a little bit uh, dig deeper inside the, the nature of these equivalence classes. So let's suppose you're thinking about the left equi. So left equi is, is a set of nodes which are all their children, left children have same, same equivalence classes. The sum of their nodes will be such that their right children also belong to same equivalence class. We can imagine that, that uh, each left equi equivalence class is partitioned into both equi equivalence classes in which each node has uh, same right equivalence class Similarly, we can also see that uh, right equi classes also partition into both equi partitions. How do we apply the congruence? When you merge nodes, uh, then more and more term have the such have a situation that their their children have become the same. They have, they have same equivalence classes. Therefore, now you need to merge those nodes. How do we find those uh, nodes faster using these three new, new equivalence classes we have defined? Let's suppose we have a node A and B is about to be merged. But the classes A and B are such that they are left children of their parents. And if that is the case, let's suppose AP and BP are those uh, left equi equivalence classes whose children are falling into the class A and class B. 
and as we said discussed each of the the, the terms inside ap uh, are divided into uh, equivalence class of both equally so a, let's call them a1 to an inside ap and and b1 to bn inside bp so what we need to do since a class and b are being merged so their parents uh, so their parent uh, left equi classes should also be merged so we will try to merge these classes so they all have a1 to b a n and from n b1 to b n all have same left equi class now we need to check maybe a i and b j have also have the same right equi class if that is the case they should belong to same uh, uh, both equi class so it is there's a potential here ai and bj can be merged uh, what do you do you iterate over these partitions you pick ai and bj and check if they have same right equi class if that is the case merge them and now we know that these are same uh, they, the concurrence must be applied on them so you take their root and insert equality between the roots of those classes and add it into equality reasoning and then uh, then things carry on since uh, so you may think that you may be enumerating ai to an and b1 to bm is expensive it's a quadratic expensive and we can save some time we can turn into this linear search using some hash functions let's see how we can do that what we do we maintain something called congruence table it tells you if you have a child in the left equi class and you have a right equi class child in the right equi class where to go and find the both equi class okay? and this congruence table help us cutting the sum time okay? so let's look at our example uh, let's see how com table can help us for, uh, merging the ai and bjs faster Okay. Without loss of generality, let's assume that AP is smaller than BP. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to iterate over AI. For each AI, let's suppose AIR is the right equi class where AI lives. So what we need to check if uh, if there exist a, a both equi class inside BP. Uh, which may be bj such that B, uh, bj is the uh, both equi class between ari and bp if that is the case bj must be merged with ai and then we merge ai bj what may happen this entry does not exist and though no merge triggers because of hash table use i don't need to enumerate over elements of B only I have to enumerate all elements of AP because of the addition of this conch table we need to maintain uh, this conch table each time we have a merge operation between AIJ and BIJ and uh, we need to do to update uh, the this this entry uh, which can be done in a constant time as, as this 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 algorithm proceed and I we will leave it for, as an exercise So let's look at an example in which you have this this two equalities and we want to uh, build the equivalence class due to trigger due to these two equalities so first we need to draw the term graph in the term graph we have these dot edges you have a node f to the power 5 a and it has a left child f and the right child to the power 4 a in a in a list so it, uh, you can see that it has a left child uh, f furthermore f to the power 4 a and and then empty list and if you continue doing it then you will find this this is a total uh, number of terms appearing in the analyzing this particular bunch of a couple of equalities and uh, they have parent relations initially we have these uh, these things in the in the one left equi because you can see that they have a same left child and similarly these guys are put into same right equi because they have a one common right child 
now we introduce the uh, the edges in, uh, due to this both equalities and uh, it, it it makes a r5 f3 and a in belong to same equivalence class therefore we are making a circular request among them now it is time to apply let's apply our data structure to find the congruence so since uh, uh, f3a and a form left equi and because their left children are equivalent look at that f3 this guy and this guy are uh, in just should belong to left equi because uh, their children are equivalent so therefore we introduce a green edge they also already in the right equi so therefore we need to introduce a blue edge between them once you introduce a blue edge you need to introduce an equality and then you go ahead recursively introduce the equality and the algorithm continues if you want to truly understand this algorithm please apply this uh, furthermore and get to the finish of this uh, this equality propagation says that uh, no further equalities needs to be applied to analyze this bunch of equalities